the broad spectrum shock and oozing disbelief that initially marked the April 16 short notice arrest and pretrial incarceration of the former Minister of Territorial Administration and disentralization is now making room for threats of insurgency in northern Cameroon. Anonymous acolytes of Marifa Hamidiyea are spreading tracts across his native and predominantly Muslim Grand North, deploring the arrest and warning they would shed their own blood in the quest for justice. The grapevine initially hinted at the widely circulating leaflets Thursday, and less than a week following the arrest. The tracts a copy of which CameroonPostLine.com caught a glimpse of late Friday, opens with the words, Stop! Stop! The population of northern Cameroon declares. It goes on to denounce the manipulation and use of justice as a score-settling and political bargaining instrument. We are ready to fight for the truth to be manifested. And we shall shed our blood if necessary. Everywhere you go, people are talking about the arrest of Marafa. In fact, there was tacit, yet very perceptible tension Tuesday, April 17, in the north regional capital Graua, during the installation of the new Governor Wilson Otto by Emmanuel René Saidi, Marafa's successor. Many say they are turning their backs on the ruling CPDM party and withdrawing their support for President Bia. Joseph Olinga, a reporter with the privately run Canal 2 International Television explained. According to Olinga, there have been noticeable troop reinforcements throughout the Grand North which includes the Adamawa, North and Far North regions. There has not been any formal explanation but it is obvious that the authorities are bent on nipping any related uprising in the bud, especially as there are also rising calls for the immediate release of incarcerated former basic education minister Heyman Adama, he said. However, another source in Gurao said to CameroonPostLine.com that they claimed anger in the North region over Marifa's arrest should not be overplayed. The source said the threats of bloodshed are coming mostly from within Marifa's extended family and circle of friends. Meantime, hard-to-verify information indicates that from his dungeon at the Kondangui prison in Yoan where he has been confined, Marifa has urged big shots of the CPDM to discontinue attempts at whipping up and rest on his behalf. Our sources quote him as saying that even if he is destroyed, there will be another Marifa from the Grand North. Marifa, who served for nine years from 2002 as Interior Minister was kicked out of the Bia government via a December 9, 2011 cabinet reshuffle. Earlier this year, he drew public notice when he was received in Marawa and Gurawa by thousands of CPDM militants. Pundits opined the homegoing was intended to demonstrate grassroots support for the man tipped by the West, according to leaked the United States diplomatic cables as Bia's successor. Marifa was whisked off to prison shortly before former Prime Minister and long-serving Deputy Secretary General at the Presidency, Chief E. Formanoni. Both had separately appeared before an examining magistrate at the Mfoundi High Court in the capital Yoan on April 16 within the framework of the dreaded anti-corruption operation Spearhawk launched by Bia in 2006. They are charged with embezzlement and or complicity in the botch purchase of a presidential jet for Paul Bia. The matter otherwise nicknamed the Albatross Affair and henched on murky financial transactions dates back to 2003.